everybody, Jerome Maldonado. Look, so we're gonna talk about rent and where we are right now economically. Are we in a renter's nation? Um, are rents gonna continue to rise? And what's gonna happen with the rental market, with the housing market, and everything else that's happening economically right now? And so one of the big things is that, as you notice, there's a housing crisis that's happening nationwide. And one of the big things in regards to the, nation, in, to the housing crisis is anytime there's a supply and demand issue where there's, there's, less, there's less supply, there's more demand. And when there's more demand, that's what stems and stimulates the increased hike of prices. Whether it's rent, whether it's real estate appreciation, whatever it is, that's what stems supply and demand. It's happening in the automobile industry. I just bought a new truck where the exact same truck that I bought three years ago is $25,000 more expensive today than it was 25 years ago because there's a little com there's computer chips there, not just one, there's like 30 that, are, that you cannot to get and it's a supply and demand issue, hence jacking up the prices, no rebates on these vehicles and it's just inflating the price of everything. So in regards to the rental market, how does that affect you? How does that affect you in regards to entrepreneurship, as investors, um, if you're buying land and building houses, if you're a sedentary individual just wanting to lease? And so we have apartments and, and we have commercial properties all over the place. And just for sake of example, we have a commercial building with a few apartments in the back of it. And we put that thing up for lease and we didn't even, we didn't even advertise it on the multiple listing. We threw a little ad up on Craigslist and we got this abundance of people that came out of the woodworks. And what we found is that because we don't manage our own multifamily apartments, we have management companies and they've been full so we don't worry about them. We just focus on work and working on what we do day in, day out. We just know that they're full and so we're fine with that and we just move forward into other projects. But when we have our small, our, uh, small office buildings and retail centers that we own, we get to work with that stuff hands-on because we still manage that stuff on a day in, day out basis it, right here um, in our own local office. So when we put that apartment up for lease, one of them that was vacant, which they don't go vacant very often, we got such an outreach. And so I looked around at the market, and I was like, you know what, I'm gonna charge an extra $150 a month for rent on that place because one, I know myself that there's a need for housing and it's still affordable in comparison to everything else that's out there. But we have tenants coming in talking to us saying, there's a six month waiting list, there's nothing available anywhere, we have to move out by the end of the month but we can't find anything. So they're settling for subpar real estate because they can't find or they settle and stay where they're at because they can't find. And so one of the biggest things is what does that do to the supply and demand chain? What does that do to us economically and what's gonna happen as we move into the future? Well, ladies and gentlemen, you guys have been hearing me talk a lot about this and I'm gonna continue to throw out these statistics to you because unless or until they change, I'm gonna keep hitting you guys with the exact same information. And so understand, we are in need of over 6.8 million rooftops in the United States right now. And the big thing is over the last decade, we only built out 6.9 million homes in the last decade, over the last 10 years. And so what does that do to us economically and as far as what we're doing right now nationally, as far as our ability to build out more rooftops? Ladies and gentlemen, this is why we're in such a need uh, for affordable housing, not only affordable housing, just rooftops in general. Um, on average, we typically build out about 11 million homes per decade. And so ladies and gentlemen, over the last decade, what happened? Why did we only build out 6.8 million homes in the, last, in the last 10, 12 years? Because in 2008, we got hit so hard financially. The mortgage industry, the building, the building industry, all the people that were moonlighting in construction and building, they got scared and they pulled back, including myself. And so we started moving and pivoting into other areas, more conservative on how we were building. Where once before we were doing 12 homes a year, I pulled back and made money doing other stuff and only built six to eight homes a year, taking about half of what we were normally building on an annual basis down by 50%. And so ladies and gentlemen, myself along with everybody else did the exact same thing, saying I'm not gonna get caught in a 2008 once again.
And so what this has done is created this inventory crisis. So now more than ever, we need people just like you to help us be able to create and fill the gap in this need to be able to go out, buy land, build houses, and also deploy that into multifamily real estate. And here's what's gonna happen. So the market could only bear so much, and there's such a need for housing. We've seen appreciation over the last year. We have all these forbearances coming up for expiration, um, the, the, the forbearance and moratoriums with mortgages and uh, rentals more, rental moratoriums. And so what's gonna land, end up happening is as these people come back into the market, as we start seeing more of a need for more housing, this will help us a little bit, but what happens to the remaining portion of the real estate that's needed to fulfill the market nationwide? Ladies and gentlemen, what's gonna land up happening is we'll pl plateau when the moratoriums expire for about a year, maybe two. And then by 2023, we're gonna have a massive, massive influx of, of price hikes on rents, on real estate. And so the time to get in, people keep looking back and say, am I too late? Did I miss the bubble? Did I miss my opportunity to invest? Ladies and gentlemen, statistically, absolutely not. May you hit a little bit of a plateau for a year and a half to two years? Yes, you may. Because once the moratoriums uh, come out, people come out into the market, there's a little bit more foreclosure, but nothing remotely close to what we saw in, in, uh, in 2008, 9, 10. We won't see that. Not in this time, not in this day and age. And so my advice is to get in now. Start buying land, building houses, create inventory. Don't go look for it, create it. And then take that money and deploy it into multi-unit real estate, into multi-family real estate. And one of the big things is when you do that, one, you're servicing the need of our nation where we need affordable housing and you can go out and get wealthy doing it. And if you don't wanna get wealthy, how can an extra six figures a year supplement your life, your income, your family, and you can utilize that for so much. And so one of the big things is we are gonna see um, an elevation in, in hike in rent still throughout the 2021 year. And then I believe 2022 will be a flat year. I think we'll plateau. Things will come, um, things will be like a stalemate because we'll see the moratorium expirations. The pandemic will slowly start um, go, getting behind us. Even though we're going through a second phase of the Delta variants and everything that we're doing, we're back in mass. We may have a small shutdown. By the time we get all the vaccinations and the, um, uh, in, into the hands of the children, kids back in school, everybody back in work. It's gonna take about a year. And once that all starts to stabilize and then we really unfold the need for housing, what's gonna end up happening is rents are gonna, are gonna skyrocket. And so if you have the opportunity to invest today and just ride the wave, by 2023, we're gonna see mass appreciation of real estate because of supply and demand. And ladies and gentlemen, Positioning yourself at the right place at the right time is 90% of what it takes to go out and become successful in anything you do. You're here at the right time, you're at the right place at the right time. And because there's such a huge housing need, you can position yourself to take advantage of helping in a small way and get wealthy doing it. And so ladies and gentlemen, we are gonna see as we move into 2023, I believe, an elevation in prices and rents and um, house appreciation, single family dwelling appreciation. And so just let's watch this unfold together. You could sit back and just watch with binoculars from the outside looking in, or you can get involved and have the front seats to the show, but be involved. Don't be a sideliner, get involved, start buying land, building real estate and going out and creating a solution to this housing crisis and get wealthy and position yourself where you can go out and you can start making a difference in your life, your family's life, and being able to make a difference in what's happening with the, with the mass housing need that we have here in America right now.